Hey guys, so uh, first of all, these are not facts. These are just plain opinions and observations of mine. So please do not be all so triggered because these aren't facts. These are just my opinion about this whole topic. So for me, new goth is just a fashion trend and um, there are pros and cons about this trend, new goth. But of course, since it's a fashion trend, I don't, I don't necessarily hate it. I actually like the trend. I like the image of the fashion trend. It's just that uh, when you're goth, it's not always about aesthetic and fashion. It's for me, it's the music that brings us all together as goths, you know, one goth community about music. This is why a lot of goths hated this trend new goth is because it focuses more on the aesthetics also it's um it's hipster but darker kind of look yeah so um let's get started first on the pros and cons of new goth so in my opinion the pros of new goth is that it's an easy everyday casual wear and not only it's a casual it's a stylish casual wear since it's uh, a mix of dark and hipster so yeah um if you don't feel like going all out goth or going all out spooky you can you can dress up as a new goth and you know easy and also a lot of stores not just some um, goth stores sell these um items so you can you can get them basically anywhere but the cons of this one and this is why goths hate new goth it's because um um, it misrepresents everything about being goth. Like I said in the pros, you can find new goth clothing anywhere. It's because of its accessibility and why this is a con. It's because um, it's not exclusive for goths anymore. Um, a lot of people can wear them, meaning even teenagers who know nothing about goth can wear new goth and claim themselves as goths. Also because this is also what mainstream media is trying to present God as a fashion statement and not as a lifestyle or music or anything like that. But for me though, um, if someone is claiming themselves as goth and wears new goth clothing, you can introduce them to goth music and they can be actual goths. But uh, if they don't welcome the music, they don't appreciate it, they don't they're not interested with the history of the subculture then that's a problem but for me like I said um, it's just a fashion trend and fashion is secondary for me main focus of being goth for me is the music so yeah also just to add more stuff on this whole accessibility to new goth clothing it loses the essence of what goth fashion should be which is being an individual because you see back in the day, um, even now, goth practice um, thrifting, which is um, shopping at thrift stores and doing some DIY on them so that the coding can be a one unique piece because not only that it came from a thrift store, but you have your own touch in it, which is, that's what goth fashion celebrates. It's the individuality. Problem also with new goth is that Besides that, you, it's being sold anywhere and not just in um, goth stores. Is that um, they all look the same, like almost the same, like like what other people say. It's like a cookie cutter fashion. Like there's this one dress, and then other stores would make a variation of it. But the point is, it's just a, the same dress. So yeah, it's losing the essence of what actual goth fashion is. It misrepresents everything that God fashion actually celebrates, which is in being an individual. I'm a fashion graduate, therefore I can understand why new goth exists. It's because I think goth has a take on every trending fashion. Like, like today, new goth is a take on what's trending today, which is hipster fashion. And I'm pretty sure during the 90s and 80s, there's also a goth version of a trending uh, fashion statement also um here's an example because i work in this apparel company that focuses on emo aesthetics 
sometimes gothic aesthetics as well and we we were asked to we were asked to research about um what are the latest trends usually we would pick trends that doesn't relate to gothic or emo aesthetics but we are asked to do it in our way which is the emo aesthetic because that's what the company is all about Over time, there's the goth version of what's trending. It's up to you if you would accept it as goth fashion or not, but for me, it is a fashion statement, and I adore anything that is dark or considered morbid or gothic. So even if it, even if you call it hipster but darker, I would appreciate it because there's that dark aesthetic to it. So yeah, it depends on how we view it. I mean, if you hate it, then fine, but if you like it, then fine as well. I mean, we all have the freedom to choose what we wear. Overall, I like the look of this new goth fashion. I mean, I don't hate on it. It doesn't celebrate what actual goth fashion is, but you can always use it every day. I mean, it's very accessible. It's very um, work-friendly for some goths who wanted to still mix their goth aesthetic with their work clothing although with me i wanted to go from new goth or casual goth to corporate goth because i want i want to look like this fancy teacher because i'm going to be a teacher soon and i hope that i would pass my training in vietnam which reminds me and on no early november i'll be flying to vietnam to do some training so i'm not sure if i'll be doing more of these vlogs i hope i would but yeah, and also I'll be doing uh, more vlogs that requires intense research. I want to do something that's very informative and very, um, yeah, very educational for, especially for baby rats and especially for average people. I want to educate both. So, yeah. I hope my point gets across and yeah. And you guys know the drill. If you guys like this video like it and subscribe to my channel if you guys want more of me and follow me on my instagram my other instagram and i'll see you guys next time